Hey everybody, welcome back to Plum Figgy. This is Tammy. All right, we have our final bird journal, Western Birds journal. Um, it's all done, so uh, I'll go ahead and give you a quick flip through. Well, I don't know how quick it'll be. <laughs> There's a lot to see in here. So um, for the closure, it's really not, it doesn't need one right now. Um, so, but I just added um, these three pieces of Sari Silk. I thought that they worked really well with the colors on the cover and um, if she doesn't want to use them as a closure she can easily put um, them into the book in some way if she wants to do that. So um, as you saw from our last video uh, I showed you how I put the, the covers on and attached it to the spine so um, did that with some glue and then did a cross stitch there, um, front and back, so you can kind of see there. Um, and then obviously, um, I showed you also, I took and took some sandpaper and sanded down all the edges to make everything nice and even. And then after that, I took some gold gilding wax and um, just made it a little bit more special. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just, I really, <laughs> I really love how this turned out. I honestly had no idea it was going to be this cool when I started it. So anyway, um, and then on the spine, uh, instead of putting Western birds on here, because there's really not room for it, I didn't want to cover up any of the birds. Uh, so, but we have plenty of real estate on, on the spine because, you know, it's like a two and a half inch wide spine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I went ahead and just glued that down onto the fabric that we use for the inside of the spine. And then that's all glued down to the spine itself. Um, so got our pretty headbands there that are the lace. And then, of course, our little fringes on the top and bottom. So that's a quick little walkthrough of the front and back covers. Um, don't normally do that, but you know, these, these went through quite a bit of transformation. So I felt like I needed to kind of share. Now I didn't, um, add any distress ink or anything. Um, it was really interesting as I was adding the gold gilding wax to the insides, it was automatically kind of distressing on its own. So I don't know what's in that gilding wax, but there's some kind of something in there. <laughs> that was causing that to happen. Um, I think I might need to, well, we're going to have a hard time getting this whole thing in. Let me pull up just a little bit. There we go. Now you can see everything. Okay. And I'll just make sure that I don't move, move, move. <laughs> um, I'm going to, oh, it's going to be hard. There's so much to see, but, um, okay. So on the inside front cover, we've got this nice little fabric pocket. Um, this was a little fabric uh, pouch that I had gotten. Um, did a little collage there. And then um, this journaling card, I went ahead and rounded those corners because they were catching as you were trying to put it in. And I did actually remove a little bit on the left and right sides, just a, just a touch. Um, sewed around the whole thing. And so there's this journaling card. And so that just goes right back in there, just like that. Over here, we've got this journaling card um, tucked in with the clothespin. And then um, I had this other piece that had the name of the puzzle, the artist, and then just a little bit about the artist down here. This is, <laughs> this is from the puzzle box. I didn't want to remove any of that, you know, masking tape. I think you can still read it. It says, yeah, born in Olean, New York, it looks like. So, um, so there's that first page. I did rearrange the signatures a bit just to kind of accommodate, um, making this change, but actually I really love how the green is playing off of each other here. It's really cool. So, yep, like that change a lot. So, really pretty. Another little collage that, um, this was from the top of the puzzle box. Um, and turned that into a tuck spot here with a little collage. And then tucked into that is just some, a little journaling card from a digital kit another digital kit. This came from a book on how to draw trees. 
So <laughs> really fun little piece, piece of that. Um, this came from a vintage book about birds and flowers of North America. Um, so Fussy cut that out of the book and you'll see more birds and several more flowers from that book in the journal. Uh, another uh, printed, this came from, well I'm not going to tell you where everything came from. <laughs> we'll be here forever, but um, uh, copyright free images is this one. Uh, again from that book on birds and flowers and it had a section on trees. So I took a few pages from that section and turned those into journaling cards. Um, and most everything is collaged on one side or the other. So that one was collaged and then I just tipped that in with some washi tape there on the side. Um, here is from the back of the puzzle box there was all the definitions or a little bit about each of the birds that was featured on the puzzle box. Um, and so those are throughout the journal as well. Uh, so there's a lot of things in here from books on how to paint or draw. Um, so you'll see kind of a lot of painterly type things throughout. This is from one of those. I just I thought it was pretty on both sides so I turned it into a journaling card. A little bit of stamping throughout as well. Tucked into this pocket, we've got a page from a book about birds, <laughs> of American birds. Um, so that's just tucked in here. And uh, again, another little journaling card made from a piece of paper from a book that was used to construct the pages in here. It's more collaging here. And then again, another page on how to draw, or I guess paint trees in this case collaging on the back side and then this one flips open so you've got a couple pockets here some graph paper for writing and then some more book page oh this is the one that um, I thought it was just cool I didn't really want to cover any of it so I just folded it in half and stuck it in so there's that and then over here we've got a little journaling card that um, it's just a scratch piece of paper and I put one of those birds that I have fussy cut out of that book on the front there and then we've got some collaging here with another one of the uh, bird definitions. Uh, plenty of writing space. I mean there's actually a lot of decoration but there's also lots of empty spaces for writing and adding pictures or what have you. So another journaling card here. Um, this one is a folded journaling card that um, I originally had it like this but it just worked out better to go in like that and so it's just been collaged and I um, sewed around the perimeter on both sides and that's just tucked over this page here and fastened with a paper clip. So there's that. There's the other side of that uh, one really gorgeous picture of the trees and the rest of that book page from the How to Draw Trees, another little collage up here. And yet another one down here. <laughs> A lot of collaging, another one of those birds from that vintage book. So that is signature one. We've got four signatures to go, so I need to hurry up a little bit. <laughs> uh, full page of collaging here. Um, lots of room actually to write or, you know, add pictures or what have you. I think this is just a really fun page. So, um, and then on the other side of that, we've got another one of those journaling cards that tips open, hold held on with some washi tape and some more writing space. Really love this picture here too. Um, got a little tuck spot here with another little journaling card. Um, this is a little um, thing about one of the birds. And then I made just a tuck spot here um, with this. Uh, it's from a digital kit. And it's not like super thick paper, so just be a little bit careful. And then the paper it's on is pretty old. It's from like the 1940s from a farmer's um, ledger. So you'll see that throughout the journal as well. Um, but just made a little tuck spot there and put some bits of ephemera inside. This is that <laughs> poor little bird who 
he had something happen to his face, and I just went ahead and decided to still go ahead and use him, turned it into a tuck spot there for this page, and tucked into that is this journaling card, um, sitting on top of a really pretty digital kit with a little bird down here, so lots of eclectic styles. This is a definition for a tree, and then here I have another um, fussy cut from that vintage book of a really nice tall um, some kind of um, pine tree of some kind I guess um, and then of course more collaging uh, there's another definition for a bird um, this one I turned into a tuck spot so you've got a little bit of writing space there really cute he's like staring into your soul <laughs> so, turn the page quickly <laughs> We'll just let him be there. <laughs> um, really cute little bird collage down here. And then tucked into that, we've got another um, little couple of scenes from those how to paint books. Um, this was another how to paint or draw, I don't remember. And then I just did a little collage down there with um, some washi tape and a label. Uh, this is a page that I had to join together um, because they... I didn't want to uh, bend them, so I joined them together with some sari silk, so that's what you see there. And then I just added this to make it a little bit more interesting. Um, and then here we have another um, journaling card that I've tipped in, again, from a different book. Um, and I just picked it because it was a nice picture of a tree, you know, meadow, place that you would see uh, birds and stuff. Uh, so this is about English gardens, this one. this book page and then another um, collaged back side of that journaling card there and yeah just really like that page <laughs> it's really pretty um, here we go some more collaging you can write there you know you can um, add things <laughs> I don't know uh, there's yeah there's a lot of collaging but at the same time this is all able to be written over it's not precious you know um, none of this is precious so Okay, so here is that envelope, the policy envelope that I said I would include. I did not put anything inside here, but you can definitely um, add little treasures and stuff. I did make it a tuck spot, and I just put this bit of coffee or tea dyed paper back behind there, so um, so that you know that there's a tuck spot there. Um, and so that's what that one, that page ended up being. Uh, another half of the book page, some more collaging. Um, a little bit of collaging. I just kind of made some more room for writing over here. I just covered the writing from the book. Um, this is about pruning trees. <laughs> so, um, another collage made from one of the birds from the top of the puzzle box. Um, and then tucked into that is another um, page from a book on how to draw trees. And another really big blank page for you to write on. Um, and some more from that farmer's ledger and how to draw trees again another bird from the front of the puzzle book or box and that really cool stamp of the sticks with the birds on there um, and tucked into this one uh, just some more of that tea dyed writing paper this one's a little bit snug so Yep, it's not going to go down very far. And then um, this was just a little label from a digital kit that I had tea dyed. And I just distressed around the edges of that. So there's that. And then another bird, bird sighting <laughs> from the puzzle bo box and collaging. This was our first signature, but actually I like how this really works well. Um, you would never know that I had these in a different order originally, so um, really think it worked really well. So um, more collaging there. Here is another journaling card and um, some space to write. Uh, more trees. Another bird from the top of the puzzle box, and that's a big, nice big pocket. And inside that one, I've got this piece of um, ephemera. It's from a digital kit. 
And then on the other side, we've got some more pockets. So another um, definition of a bird from the puzzle box. Um, this is some more tea dyed writing paper. And then I did stamp uh, a leaf on that one. Here's a journaling card. Um, and then collage. <laughs> I really like that one. Um, and then this was another, that last bit about, um, with the name of Western Birds. Um, I figured if you wanted to put this into the journal somewhere, you could definitely do that. Uh, so that's just tucked in right there. And tuck that back in. And then, of course, another page full of collaging. And here we have, I guess that same, I didn't plan that, <laughs> that same stamp, stamp down here. Um, and we've got an Edith Holden. Let's see, I think this is... Yeah, this is holding, I don't think I want to do it that way. I think I'll put this somewhere else. <laughs> um, this is glued down, but um, it opens up so that you can write here if you want. It'd be a little tricky, I guess. You might need to put a book underneath here to write on it, but um, nice um, page full of a little bit of collaging there. And then I did add this paper clip just to hold things together. Let's go ahead and see. I'll put this in the other pocket on the other side. So we'll just put this one somewhere else. Here is your, um, I guess, bookmark. But this is the key to um, all the birds that were on the cover. And the numbers correspond to each of the definitions. So um, that's where I just put it straight smack dab in the middle for you. Um, and then here we have that other little pocket that I had cut off from the pocket on the back cover. I just glued that down here. Um, actually, let's go ahead and tuck that down in here. Um, since we've got it handy, let's see, I don't really want to cover that. So we'll just have those two tucked into there and then um, I'll save this for somewhere else. <laughs> couple little um, pages from that book, book about birds. Um, the other Edith Holden, or the other half of the old Edith Holden book page. So a little bit more writing space there. Uh, yet another journaling card um, that's just been lightly collaged on the back side. Tipped in again. This is some eco-dyed um, digital kit. I believe I have that link down below. You're curious. Um, another tuck spot there with some writing paper tucked in. Should we go ahead and tuck this in too? Why not? <laughs> so there's that. And then the back side of this. Oh yeah, I remember this page. Okay, so lots of collaging happening here. And then I turned this into a little tuck spot. You just got some more writing paper and a little um, tag there on copy weight paper so just for writing and then more collaging on the other side of that little page and we've got pockets galore so in this pocket you've got a little label um, another definition of a bird and then in this pocket some more writing paper and another journaling card from a different book um, about Darwin and then collaged on the back side I thought he was a funny looking bird, so <laughs> put him there. Um, that's from that vintage book about birds and trees and flowers. Um, so just added that down there. Um, made a belly band here with this, and then tucked into that is this um, envelope from a Tracy Fox digital kit. And then tucked into that is just a bit of scrapbook paper that we used for the inside front and back covers. I distressed it with um, sandpaper and then went around it with um, distress ink. And so that's just tucked right into there. That is a snug fit too, so just let you know about that. Um, another tuck spot with a bird and this is just some a bit of tea dyed scrapbook paper. Um, and then this is another collaged page. With some, I, I really like how that <laughs> turned out just randomly in the middle of the page. Another uh, definition of a bird here, and then I stamped a tree over here. On the other side, we've got another journaling card. 
um, with that cute polka dot. <laughs> and then um, this is a great page. You could um, definitely write on this side of the page or even on the house itself if you wanted to um, or color it in or something. That would be kind of fun too. <laughs> um, another book page from um, an artist book with another bird definition. Here we've got a cute little text spot. This one's from the book about Darwin, So, but a cute little bird there. Um, your Another journaling card that was collaged and then there's how that page looks. So it's kind of like a painting in progress. <laughs> Um, of course, another bird and another bird, <laughs> lots and lots of birds, um, and another collaged page here. Uh, yeah, love, love this page with another definition there. This is some really thin, I don't, it's like, I don't know what kind of paper this is, but this has not been, um, I did not do anything to make this look old. This is naturally how old this one looks. It's very, very cool. I think if you wrote on this side, you would definitely see it on this side. Um, but anyway, uh, this is a, a thesis that someone did for their doctorate and um, it was typed out on this nice thin paper and then bound into a book. So yeah, um, there's a few pieces of that in here um, as well. Really, really love that paper. Uh, another collaged page. I kept this part from the book page, but it covered all the words and stuff. Uh, so you can write over that. And then same with this side. I just covered bits and pieces of it. Here we've got another big pocket. So tucked into that um, is this journaling spot from a digital kit um, from one of the art books collaged on the back side. And then another little... Um, nice pictures from that book on how to draw trees so and then another little collage down here of course with um, a bird definition and we've got another journaling card that i did some collaging on the back that's from the other book about birds here i did just added this little um it's just copy weight paper it's not cardstock um but just added some washi there and then tucked in to that is just some tea dyed um, kids paper um, for handwriting I guess well that's what we used it for but you'll see that throughout as well so another flower from that um, book that I fussy cut from and another page that I collaged uh, on the back side as well um, could write here which would be kind of cool uh, here is a tuck spot and tucked into that is another one of these little journaling cards or whatever you want to call them and you can kind of see a little bit of the background from that paper and then I just kind of covered the other side I, it was a weird little building I didn't <laughs> I kept the trees <laughs> so and then um, the other side of that um, some more collaging here and collaging there I mean I'm quickly going over these collages they took a while <laughs> I'm not gonna lie but it was so much fun so nice big blank page for you to write um, some stamping here, a little collage, and then another journaling card, which I obviously did some more collaging on. So, and then another page um, where I just kind of stuck a piece of paper there, and then the back side has been covered. Here is the other side of that um, really cool paper, and of course that, that really pretty painting. Another tuck spot from a bird from the top of the puzzle box, and then I just added a bit of scratch paper um, that we hadn't used yet, and then background is collage too, so you could write on the back side or the back parts of this. Um, another tipped in journaling card, of course, collaged on the back, and then of course over here as well. Um, so, final signature. Here is, oh, this is, I remember now, this is an envelope. It's a little tiny envelope with just the cutest little thing on the front. It says Miss Laney and then a date of, or something. Um, and then I don't think, no, I didn't put anything inside this one. So this one's empty, ready for you to add something into. And that's just clipped over the top of the page there. 
Um, another um, book page from Edith Holden book and just folded and clipped over the side of this page just like that really pretty uh, another eco dye page with some bird definition and a little label there um, this is definition on the word quill another collaged page with a little bird pasted on another definition of a bird we've got butterflies <laughs> and a little bird's nest on this page um, here's another one of those little journaling cards and then backed with um, some writing space for you um, and oh this one was fun okay so this one is a belly band but it opens like this you you can write there but then there's also this secret little um, spot with uh, another bird here and more writing space so actually you can open it that way you can open it that way um, and then tucked into that is this big journaling card with more writing space. I think it would be cool to, if you had a picture of a bird or something to put that on there. Um, and then the back side of that farm expenses ledger. Again, I don't know if it's dated. Looks like 1948. Um, Palm Grove Co-op, 100 gallons at 1403. Otho store? Otho Otho something, Palm Grove, Gallon, something, yeah, they went to that same store a lot, <laughs> um, so anyway, there's that, here is that seed packet envelope, I went ahead and just tucked it into a, a paper clip because I didn't know if that's where you wanted this to live, but that's what, where that is, and I just took a bit of cardstock, added another bird to the front and distressed it, and then just did a little bit of collaging and heavily distressed on the back side. Um, but you can definitely do some more writing there. So I like, I really like the colors on this one. Um, it's very, very cool colors for me. Um, more collaging, another tea dyed writing space, and little journaling card, I guess, if you wanted to use it for that. A bird, a little tuck spot here with just uh, this little bit of paper tucked inside. Um, here's another one of the pages from that thesis with a little bit more writing space on this one. Um, and then we've got another flower cut out from that book again. And then this side has a big pocket with a little collage down there. You've got another journaling card that's been collaged. I don't think any page hasn't really been touched. Another one of those tags. And then this is that little extra piece of paper. I just did some stamping there. Um, so that can be opened up and written on. And that just tucks right down in there. I think I have that like that. Another little tuck spot from one of those birds, and this cute little label of some kind. Love this. I did not, I did not expect to get such a great page, but that is pretty awesome. <laughs> Another belly band uh, with just some bird um, collaging there, glued down, and then um, tucked into that is just another tea dyed um, bit of writing paper. Really pretty tea dyeing going on here. And um, added this bit of writing paper so that this page could be a little bit more usable um, with this pretty owl and then another collaged book page here on both sides. Tuck spot with some writing paper and um, bird definitions with some more collaging. And the last page we've got a big journaling card that's been tipped in and yet more writing space. And then I just added this big um, paper clip to hold that down. And then on the back cover, we've got this nice big um, glassine envelope pocket where I did this little collage here. And then tucked into that is your 
big journaling card with the bird. Um, I did a zigzag stitch around that perimeter and more writing space on the back. So this is fully glued down. Um, so if you wanted to add more in there, you could, but not behind it. So, all right, there is the final flip through. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this series. I know I certainly did. It's like, it seemed like it took a long time, but at the same time it went really fast if that makes any sense, <laughs> which uh, I guess to me means that I really enjoyed doing it. So, um, and I'm kind of thinking about doing something similar. I don't know about a bird theme, but just a generic kind of let's use up my bits and pieces and do something kind of similar again. So um, if you're excited for more of that, I will um, happily uh, videotape some of that. I don't know if I'll do the entire thing. Um, but, uh, if you enjoy it, I will be happy to do that. <laughs> so just let me know. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you all soon. Bye.